Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can publish your own data in ArcGIS Online. The first way I'm going to show you is to publish your map notes. I know a lot of people will be familiar with map notes. They're really great for students to add their own data, especially if they don't have publishing permissions on Arc Online. And they're really quick and easy to add both or all areas, points and lines to a map. If I zoom in, I can show you map notes I've already created in Cork. I have some areas, points and a line for the River Lee already plotted on my map. If I saved this map and opened it again later on, my map notes would still be here. But what if I wanted to edit these further, maybe add more fields rather than just having the likes of the title, description and a link for an image? Or what if I wanted to share them with students or with colleagues? Well, what I can do is click on the more options button under my map notes layer name and I will click save layer. I'm just going to add the word layer to the end of this so I can distinguish between the different layers that I'm working with. And I will create the item. I go back to the more options button now and I can click show item details. This opens a new tab and brings me to the overview page of my feature layer. We don't have many options here and it is only overview, usage and settings along the top. What I'm going to do is click publish and I'll just add the word hosted to the end of this and click publish. And now we have our feature layer hosted. So that is hosted in ArcGIS Online. You keep an eye on the right hand side of my screen, you will see that we're provided with a lot more options. We can export and update the data, create a view layer, publish again, and along the top we've got the data and visualization tabs. If I click on data, we can see that it actually says no data found. That is because I am looking at the text layer. If you think back to map notes, within map notes, you can add text, points, lines, and areas. Those four types of layers are still within this hosted layer. We use this drop down to choose the layer type that we want to look at. So I could go to points, lines, and areas. If I wanted to add another field to my areas layer, I can click on fields on the right hand side. This is where I can see all of the existing fields, but I could add a new one here. I can do that because I own this layer and I have all of the permissions needed to edit and update it. So we might add in area name, leave it as a string, you have double and integer for numeric values and a date for date values and add new field. There we go. If I go back to the overview tab, I can click on the drop down menu beside open in map viewer and click add to new map with full editing control. In this new map, we end up having four layers. We've got the text, points, lines, and areas, but all of these come from our hosted layer, which we have just published. If I were to click on any of my areas to edit them, I now have my new field area name. If you want to add more, points, lines or areas to this, you can now click edit and add more. You are now working with the hosted layer, not the map notes. If I go back to my overview, 
I could also open this in the scene viewer. The scene viewer zooms me in automatically to cork and I can see all of my features. I can't edit anything here, but I can see any attributes that I have provided for these features and that would include any images in this pop-up on the right hand side. Going back again, one other thing to mention is if you have data in your layer, to go to the data tab, you can also make changes by double clicking and editing this table. So that is how you get from map notes to a, a published hosted layer that you can edit, share with others and open in both the map viewer to edit and the scene viewer for 3D scenes. There is one other thing I want to show you today because I wouldn't want to wait another week to share this with you. Is if you don't want to use map notes and perhaps as the teacher you have the permissions to publish your own layers, this is the option for you. I also think this is worthwhile noting because map notes, you can have the polygons, points and lines all within map notes, but it is good practice to have separate layers for different types of geometries. And that could even be splitting them up as a feature layer only for roads, a feature layer only for rivers, a feature layer for towns, that could be points, and feature layers for particular areas. So how do we do that? Well, I'm in my content page right now and I will click create and feature layer. There are a lot of templates here, but I'm just going to sh um, search for point. And it's important to say here, one option is points, lines and polygons, where you can have all of those geometries in one layer, but I recommend that you do these separately. So let's choose points. So build a feature layer for collecting point data. After creating the empty layer, define fields and domains as needed, then start collecting data. So I could call this Towns and Cities. And click Done. Immediately I'm brought to the overview page and it is a feature layer with hosted in brackets, meaning that straight away we've, we've skipped map notes. We have a hosted layer. It is hosted in ArcGIS Online. We have all of the tabs along the top and the options on the right hand side. The only layer within this is the point layer. At the moment, if I click on data, we have zero features. We haven't created any points. If I click on fields, we have all of these default fields. But again, like we did with the published map notes layer, we can add our fields. So we might have town name. We'll leave it as a string and add field. And just as an example, we could have date visited and change that to a date field. So back in the table view, we can see those field names here. And if I click on overview, we can click on the drop down beside open in map viewer and add to new map with full editing control. I can click on edit. And it automatically brings me up the towns and cities editable layer and with the option to click for a new feature. So I click on that. I'm 
and I can say Dublin for the town name and date visited. Don't worry, I'm already here, so <laughs> not traveling too far, pick a time and you can add attachments in there as well and go off edit mode. Both with this hosted layer and the hosted layer you create from your map notes, you can change the symbology, you can filter it, you can analyze it with the analysis tools, you can configure pop-ups, set the visibility range, anything that you would normally do with hosted layers. The great thing is you own them so you can add in fields, you can be in charge of that data management and be able to show the particular fields that you want to show. Again, with this hosted layer, we can open it in the scene viewer and we can also open it in, in desktop. So those are the two ways we've gone from publishing map notes into a hosted feature layer. And we have used the create button in our contents page to create um, a hosted layer of points. Map notes are useful, as I said, for students who may not have publishing privileges and they can quickly add features to a map. But for teachers, it, you may find creating these feature layers more useful because you don't need to worry about points, lines and polygons all within the same layer. It's a bit more straightforward to only have to worry about points. And then if you wanted to create another one, you can go back and choose lines or polygons from those templates. If anybody has any questions about this, please let me know. Um, we'll try to spend a bit more time looking at the data management side of things in these videos over the next few weeks and hopefully get you up and running a bit more with creating your own data in ArcGIS Online. Thanks for watching. See you soon.